The High Evolutionary Herbert Edgar Wyndham was a student at Oxford University in the 1930s when he became interested in the work of genetic biologist Nathaniel Essex, also known as Mr. Sinister. Wyndham became single-minded and obsessed with evolution and genetic potential. He was expelled from Oxford after creating a machine intended to evolve rats, leading him to move his experiments to Mount Wondagore. Wondagore Mountain was rich in uranium, and while this was crucial for his experiments, Wyndham had to create a silver suit of armor to protect himself from uranium poisoning. It was here, with the help of his assistant, Miles Warren, that Wyndham would create his first new men, a genetically accelerated human-animal hybrid. Believing that Earth was far too confined a space, Wyndham converted his scientific citadel into a spacecraft and settled his new men on a planet dubbed Wondagore II. On one of his planet's moons, he began to craft a duplicate Earth for his creations. When his counter-Earth was completed, it was a paradise for a time, but was eventually destroyed during the events of the Infinity Gauntlet conflict. The High Evolutionary has since rebuilt his counter-Earth and populated it almost entirely with new men. However, he routinely eradicates the entire population when they inevitably fail to meet his lofty standards of perfection. He then recreates them and the cycle begins again. The High Evolutionary has evolved his intelligence to the upper level of human potential. He has demonstrated godlike powers, including the ability to evolve and de evolve life forms, superhuman strength and durability, telepathy, telekinesis, extra dimensional travel, and size alteration. The High Evolutionary wears an exoskeleton that provides an uncanny amount of protection, as well as life support and the ability to heal wounds. While undoubtedly a villain, the High Evolutionary has been known to be benevolent and caring at times. However, his need for perfection and single-minded desire to complete his life's work makes him a fierce and dangerous opponent.